A fist of freedom for a struggle shared by many during a time when freedom wasn't free for all. Well, one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin. But... This is not hate. This is a quiet cry for freedom. Olympic gold medalist Tommy Smith's gesture of resistance during the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City explained almost 50 years later. As I crossed that finish line, you could see that smile. That's a genuine smile. Then it turned into this. His action became one of the most iconic moments in American history. After the 200-meter race, 24-year-old Tommy and his friend, fellow Olympian John Carlos, stood in protest with fists in the air. This race wasn't just about setting a new record. There was a more important barrier to break. And what did that gesture represent, that moment? Pride. It represented a movement toward equality. 1964 and 68 Olympian Mel Pender witnessed that moment that shined a light on the black experience in America. That when we come back to America, we're not free. You know, we couldn't go into restaurants and we couldn't live in certain areas and couldn't get decent jobs, which is the same way today. Tommy Smith sees a correlation between his sign of protest and what's been unfolding in the NFL. In the last two football seasons, some NFL players took a knee during the national anthem to highlight racial inequality and police brutality, a movement started by former San Francisco 49ers quarterback Colin Kaepernick. I stood, he sat, but going in the same direction. I met the young man, <laughs> he had no hate for America, only a dislike for what the power structure putting a class of people. And he was fighting that. He put that on the line. Smith mentions the price of protesting. For him, it came with hatred, death threats, and not finding a decent job after the race. For Kaepernick, not finding another team to take him on. And that sacrifice you're going to feel. Make sure you have a reason for doing it. President Donald Trump has expressed his disapproval of the NFL protests. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, to say, get that son of a bitch off the field right now? I don't believe he ever suffered from not having. He suffered from not having enough. 1968, also the year we lost Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and Senator Robert Kennedy. As Smith reflects on the years, he says his life decision on that world stage shaped the rest of his life, using this moment to teach the youth about success, history, and sacrifice. And how much more work is there to be done? 50 years, so much has changed. Yeah, yeah. work is never done. As long as there's man, universally speaking, it will continue to be a job for mankind. Naima Abdullahi, 11 Alive News.